Hi everyone, I'm Angela and welcome to Angela's Fashion Mix. Thanks for returning if you've been following along on this journey. And if you are new, I thank you for joining. Here is where I mix and match from my wardrobe to create new looks and when I buy pieces, some of which you'll see today, I'll show you how I mix in with older pieces that I always have and I always have something new to wear. So I'm gonna start with smaller pieces today. I've got quite a few pieces, so I'm gonna start small and work my way up. But I'm starting with a necklace. So this necklace, I'm very much about statement pieces and this is absolutely a statement piece. You don't have to do much more with this. This against the solid background of almost any color is gonna be beautiful and you don't need much else in the way of accessories. And of course you can add bangles and earrings, but as you see here, I've gone with a smaller earring because this is so very bold. Now, this is from Cato, one of my favorite places to shop. As I've mentioned before, they have beautiful jewelry and it's greatly priced. One thing I do like about this, and I'm calling this a three in one. So when I saw it at $14.99, I saw three different things. So what I saw, is that I can wear this piece alone, of course, as it comes. But if I wanted to, from another necklace, I can take this pendant off and I can put it on here to have another neck piece. So this is a three-in-one for me. So I can definitely mix this and match it with a variety of things. Also, I picked up a belt. Also from Kato, it's a great fall color. Of course, it can be worn in summer. It has a gold hardware on it, and this was $1.99. Regular price, as you can see, it was $9.99, and I got it for $1.99. And it's gonna last me for a long time because I have other belts in this color for different attire. So once I work this in, cost per wear is definitely something that I'm gonna get great cost per wear on for this. Well, speaking of cost per wear, what that means is over a period of time, if you don't get rid of your items yearly or every other year, based on the amount of time that I keep pieces that I purchase and how many times I wear it, the cost per time I wear it versus what I paid for it is where the cost per wear comes in. So I get a lot of wear out of what I buy. So I'm definitely getting my money's worth. So next I'm going to sunglasses. Found these at a consignment store. They still have the tag on them. They were $10. And what I absolutely love about them, perfect for summer, they have a pink tint, but I absolutely love the handle detail here. I think that is what makes this sunglass and I am gonna love it. It's gonna be with me for a long time. I do love sunglasses. I have quite a collection. I don't think you can have too many, that's my opinion but I have one more to show you. And I was asked, have been asked over the years where I shop. My answer is I shop everywhere. And I found these at Rainbow. Rainbow's is, <laughs> it took me a long time to go in Rainbow because I thought it was primarily, and it is primarily for the younger crowd. However, they do have a plus size section for the full figured woman and they also have accessories. So I found these to add to my collection. I'm really liking those. And they were $6.99. So very nice. They're heavy weight, not heavy, but they have a little bit of weight to them. And I'm gonna enjoy those. So moving on from another consignment store, I found this really nice wicker, handbag and it has a bronze detail across here with this band with the gold chain and I absolutely loved it when I saw it. I love the size. I thought the interior was pretty and I paid six dollars for it. Um, so one of my stores that I frequent is called It's Chic Again and that's where I got this. So as you can see it's going to coordinate with a few things. It's going to be great for fall, but it's also good for summer. So we're going to be carrying that throughout the next few weeks. So that's that. I found another handbag for from consignment. This fling is more elegant. And when I saw this 
two outfits came to mind that I already have in my collection. One of which is this chocolate brown evening length dress. I showed this to you probably around the holidays with regard to not necessarily wearing red or gold or any of those colors that are traditionally Christmas colors. So this is what came to mind and that's what we're going to be putting together as one option with this bag. That bag was six dollars and I'm sorry five dollars and seventy cents. So I think that was a great buy. It's a beautiful color. It has a beautiful finish. I've already sanitized it and all of that. I've already added it in. So we're good to go there. And I have found some flats. I don't wear a lot of flats. I do have a few. And recently we went to Williamsburg to the outlet. And I found these. And they're very comfortable. They're by Ann Taylor Factory. And um, they were half off. I think they were 50 They were $70 and they were half off. So $35, and these are going to last for a while, and it's nice for summer, but these are also going to go into fall with lots of fall colors like you see here in this video. So moving right along, so back to consignment. So I mentioned to you that there is a hair salon near me that has apparel and lots of accessories. And that is where I got this cute little number. It's newer, great condition. And for this, I paid 34. And that was worth 34 to me. You're not gonna walk out anywhere and see this. So from a unique perspective and the style, the gold hardware, the detail, I love that it has a purple lining in here. That is a very nice little handbag. Great for your evening out. So that's one reason why I strongly recommend shopping consignment stores. Because typically, the things that I find in consignment stores I haven't seen, and if it is something that I may have seen, maybe a print or something like that, the garment itself may be different. And you're going to find unique things that are at a good price. They've just more than likely been gently worn or never worn. When I was in the consignment store purchasing this particular bag, there was a customer that was bringing something in to consign and her comment to the associate was, I don't know why I bought it. She never used it and she wanted to consign it. Consign it. So a lot of times things that I purchase have never been used. So we're coming to an end here. So I've also purchased some handbags. So I've been looking for a specific type of straw bag, and this is what I was looking for. I happened to go into a Goodwill, and this was just waiting for me to stop by, and this was what I wanted. It's in the navy and tan with the rope handle, and now I have it. It was $6.99. I cleaned it up and we are ready to go so we're adding this into our handbag collection with our straw bags so we're getting a lot of wear out of that there's still a lot of summer left this will go late into august for me so we've still got lots to do with that one also from ann taylor factory found this beautiful blue cropped pant has a wide leg and uh, it's kind of, it's a rayon and polyester blend but it's going to be nice for fall has a bit of weight to it it's called the slim wide crop with the high waist so that's going to be nice as you can see here we can pair that a few different ways it has the three button details there on the sides and it has pockets on the rear and that is a very nice pair of crop pants. I'm gonna love that. Also, I found this jacket at Goodwill. I don't see anything that could have been wrong with it. I thoroughly examined it. And so I just didn't want it anymore like we do. We send things to Goodwill. 
my husband kind of stared at it for a little bit and was like, you know, there's a lot going on on this jacket, but I absolutely love it. I absolutely do love this jacket. And primarily because it has black and white in it. And fuchsia is a color I would wear black and white. But it has also a variety of other details in it that makes this an interesting and for what I call a statement jacket. And for $6.99, I'm thoroughly pleased with that. So also at Rainbow, again, for the younger crowd primarily, but every now and then I'll find something in Rainbow that piques my interest. And this cover-up is what I would call it because of the high split. It comes up here to the way, so not a dress for me. And it is very long. I have not decided yet how I'm going to style it, but I, I do have something in mind. I absolutely love the colors, and it has the orange, the pink, the black, white, and a little bit of lavender in it. And this was $8.99. So for $8.99, we're going to figure out what's going to work with that, and I'm going to enjoy that. So yeah. So to the final piece that I'm sharing, and I'm excited to share it, one, because my husband bought it, but I also absolutely love it. So the purpose in going to Williamsburg was to get shoes for him, which we did, but also while you're there, of course, you're going to go in all the stores, which we did. And um, I spied this bag, looked at it a bit in Michael Kors. We left, we went other places. And just before we left, he suggested we go back to the Michael Kors store and he bought this bag for me. So I absolutely love it. It is oversized. It's a tote, um, has lots of compartments on the interior, of course, and also a compartment on the back that zippered. It has gold hardware. It's oversized. I think it's going to travel really well but it's going to hold a lot just for general use. Now, this bag was priced at $458. As I've always said, I like quality pieces. I like nicer pieces, but I want to pay a lower price for them. So the bag was $149. And at $149, I was pleased. So this is my new Michael Kors tote for me. This is going to get a lot of wear. I like the camel color on it. I like the gold hardware. It's going to be very versatile. I also like the vanilla color here. And one thing, too, I like about the monogram on it is that it's subtle. Even though the MK is there, it's all over. It is very subtle, and that makes it more versatile for me and feel more like a neutral. So this is my final for tonight. And I uh, just wanted to let you know, that I'm also on Instagram and TikTok at Angela's Fashion Mix. So please, while you are looking, take a peep over there. And also while you're here, consider subscribing. And uh, if you find value here, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And also let me know where you're seeing this video from, where are you located. So um, that would just be of interest to me to see where my audience is. So everyone, thank you for tuning in and we will see you in the next video. Bye.